Hello, everyone. It is Phil, and, and I get asked a lot about great Christmas presents and great holiday gifts. And a lot of people have asked me about short throw projectors and maybe projectors for outside and projectors for their home. And joining me is my man, Jaime, as well as Sean. Sean's on the phone. He's kind of hiding today. But <laughs> we're going to talk about some great options for those people that are offered by Elite Screens, including a new projection system. So let me ask you a, a question, uh, um, Sean and Jaime. Why? A projection system, the whole package together. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, yes, uh, Phil. Thank you very much for inviting us here and just allowing us to discuss this new package. So the Mazda 360 is an all-year-round uh, projectors uh, screen system to catering, you know, to uh, the users that you know summertime is pretty much almost over, uh, and we want to offer an inside screen as well so that you can continue to use it year round all four seasons. I live in Southern California. So this is a, um, so it's always could be a four seasons, whether it's indoor or outdoor, but even when you, if you live where Jaime lives and, the, and there's actual <laughs> seasons, we don't have seasons in Southern California. We have no, one we season. <laughs> yeah. One, one hot, one not so yeah. hot, medium hot and a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hot, not so hot, medium hot, and maybe it's slightly chilly. But for those who actually are out there that are looking for a projector that is a Four Seasons projector, this is a great option. Because a lot of times your backyard system is only a two season backyard system for many people. This solution, you get your, you get more bang for your buck. You get more value because it is designed to be utilized year round, all four seasons in a variety of ways and a variety of applications. I actually have with in my room right now, the original Mosaic Go system that, that comes with the, the smaller screen. And you guys were nice enough to actually give me or loan me this little system here. And I've been playing with it. It's, it's absolutely awesome. It's amazing how everything fits in this cool little little package as I get asked, oh, I need to buy a projector. And then what kind of screen should I buy? Or I'm buying a screen. What should it be? A, should it be a blow up screen or a stand? I will tell you right now, don't use a blow up screen. They never work. They always, they're always out of air and saggy and the image is all out of whack. A, a traditional stand based screen system works a lot better. The screen is tensioned and everything else. And what makes it really cool is you guys did a really good job packing and everything. So, so first thing is you get this little kit here and the little kit comes with the projector. It has the remote, it has the, um, the charger, and it has its own built-in battery. It even has a tripod, everything in this little bag. And then the little 58 inch screen comes in this little guy. So when it showed up, I was like, what did they send me? Because normally when behind me sends me a box, it's gigantic right but this time right. he sends me these two itty bitty boxes and i was like what is this and i was like wow this is a projector and a screen so instead of the the four by eight sheets of plywood it feels like he's sending me um i get these nice little compact packages and it's really easy it took me two minutes to put the frame together and snap the screen on and then it breaks down super quick and it goes right back into that bag so you guys did a really good job of putting together this little, this little, this little system. You start off with just the small outdoor screen, and now you now have the ability to have an indoor screen and an outdoor screen. So talk a little bit more about the system. Yeah, so we have two, uh, the Mazigal Sport and the Mazigal mm -hmm. Light. And mm -hmm. the Mazigal Sport is the one that uh, you have there, which has a rechargeable battery up to three hours. Um, it comes with a 58 inch, um, your folding frame outdoor screen and mm -hmm. we also have the light version which that one is does not come with a uh with the rechargeable battery okay so yes um so we have uh the options the indoor options now which mm -hmm. are fixed frame the edge free mm -hmm. variant of fixed frame screens in a matte mm -hmm. white choice from 100 110 and 120 inch in a matte white uh mm -hmm. isf certified material and then you have uh, the ambient light rejecting for the ultra short throw uh, as well, mm -hmm. ceiling light rejecting screens as well from 103 inch 
all the way to 123 inch. So let me ask you, how would I choose? What would be a good way for me to decide which one of these types of screens I should should purchase or which package I should actually get? Well, that's a good question, Phil. Thank you for asking. Uh, you want to go with a matte white surface if you can control the light in your room. If you have the ability and you want to live in a, you know, in a, a dark room or you have a dark room set up, you want to put a fixed frame screen, a giant uh, mm -hmm. system there, go with the matte white. And of course, if you're budget, if you're budget conscious as well. However, mm -hmm. if you want to bring it out of the dark and throw it in the family room, a living room where you you want to be able to watch entertainment, sports, you know, the uh, <clears throat> sports or whatever other entertainment um, with the lights on, then you go ahead and choose the ambient light rejecting either the CLR2, which mm -hmm. has a little bit of a higher gain, um, and then, or you want to go with the CLR3, which has a little bit of um, a, a wider viewing angle and a little bit of um, a better ambient light rejection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, and I've and I've played with your materials, and it, it makes a world of difference. It basically turns a little guy into a into a little TV replacement solution. In my space right now, connected to the side of it, you'll see that there's a little stick connected to the side. So I went out and just got a little Amazon Fire Fire Stick, and I I plugged it into the side. And that's my uh, cable box, my Netflix, my Disney Plus, my my Hulu. Everything I need to do just goes in utilizing that stick. Also, the low lag. You want to talk a little bit about the about the low lag uh, on the projector as well? Yeah. So uh, we do have a low input lag of 17 milliseconds on the Mazago. Uh, that is great for uh, obviously gamers out there who are mm -hmm. consistently looking for something that is better than even their TVs or other projectors that, you know, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of projectors out there that start to focus on this, but we want to add this feature in addition to many other features for mm -hmm. that gamer because it's portable. And like you said, your son uh, likes, uh, sometimes all the TVs are being used up. Oh, well, mm -hmm. I got my own here. <laughs> I can just exactly. bring it along or I can just set it up and, you know, uh, get, get, get our game on. I like the fact that the first systems you guys designed are short throw designs because it really does help um, when it comes to placement. A lot of times to get a larger image, the screen has to be way in the back of the room or way on the other side of the pool. So this makes sure that whether you're using it outdoors or inside, it's a lot easier to put a projector on a coffee table or, or in front of the couch than try to shoot a long throw over the couch. So the little 58 inch screen that I have here, the projector is what? Um, four, um, like about four inches from the actual display. So it's really, really simple to, uh, to set the unit up. And if I go to what, to the larger sizes, what is the distance? It's like for an 80 inch, you're like what, nine inches away from the front of the cabinet. So you could absolutely put that on a coffee table and project it onto a large screen um, without having you, like I said, try to shoot it over your shoulder. So I do like the fact that you guys are utilizing an ultra short throw. Yeah, and that was the whole uh, idea behind this design is to, we like, to have everybody covered, uh, as you can mm -hmm. see from our library of products. But when, mm -hmm. we, when we decided to bring this out to market, we also knew that there were a lot of space constraints in apartments or in rentals or whatever it may be. And we wanted that customer to just be able to pull up a system, a projector system, and enjoy a big picture. Mm -hmm. so, so Jaime, why don't you talk about the different sizes that are available with the more traditional um, white screens? Okay, so here we're looking at uh, the edge free fixed frames, uh, the screen sizes that are available with this Mazago 360 package. And for example, with the light models, uh, as well as the sport models, uh, you start off with the 100 inch, uh, either or the 110 inch or a mm -hmm. 120 inch. And then now this mm -hmm. Cine White UHDB material is an mm -hmm. ISF certified material, which will, right out of the box, provide great color accuracy for that uh, home theater 
customer. And like I said, you do pay a little bit of a premium for the battery, but it adds a huge amount of flexibility on how you utilize the system. So moving on, you also have your ceiling light rejecting screens. And, uh, and can you talk about those different packages and options as well? Absolutely. So now we have the 103 inch with the CLR2, which is also an um, ceiling light ambient light rejecting material that rejects light up to 65%. Starting price at about 2279. Mm -hmm. uh, and the street prices are, you know, uh, go ahead and check those out and see uh, that uh, they're going to be a little bit lower. So they're going to be more affordable for you guys. And we also have the 105 inch and the 125 inch, uh, which is a CLR3 material, which uh, has more light rejection and a wider mm -hmm. viewing angle. So they can go on your website and find the pricing or uh, do you? Yes. Okay. We can go to eliteprojector.com and that's where you'll be able to find all the options. Just go to the to the Mazda Gold 360, and there's mm -hmm. a drop down there, a menu, mm -hmm. and you'll go ahead and choose the size and the package, either the light or the sport model. So you have tons and tons of solutions so you can find the right one for your needs and your budget. Okay. Projector. Get the big picture.